What's up ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Fire Emblem Three Houses. I'm gonna be starting a new let's play of this game. Now before we continue onwards let's press the start button. Now as you can see I actually have played this game before when it first came out three years ago I believe. The last time I played this game was the DLC that was released in this game and I only played through this game once mind you so this is gonna be a game well fair warning this is this is gonna be a, a game that I'm gonna do multiple playthroughs not at the same time of course but you know Anyways, I've been wanting to play and record through the Fire Emblem games for a while now. i also been wanting to record from my Nintendo Switch as well. So, today's finally the day that I get that started. And ultimately, the reason why I'm playing this game once again, not just for myself, but for the viewers and friends who have not seen or played Fire Emblem ever. Here it is. I will give it to them. But as I said earlier, ultimately I'm playing this again to prepare myself for the upcoming new Fire Emblem game that's coming out early next year slash next month. So that's said and done. Let's go ahead and start a new game. I believe it's appropriate that I should start this on normal to consider this as like a chill, not well, not kind of chill, but just a normal, casual playthrough. Like I said, I'll, this is totally a game I'm going to be doing more than one playthrough and in, in those future playthroughs I will highly likely amp it up too hard here I'm not gonna make any promises on managing how work it's not totally the best in this game so you're kinda asking me too much on managing difficulty so I'm gonna leave that to the experts who already played through this game <laughs> but first let's just having Let's just, excuse me. <clears throat> Let's just begin a normal, relaxing playthrough. Oh, speaking of casual, here's another setting here that for the viewers and friends who have not played the FE games, um, casual, as you see here, fallen units rise again after the battle ends. And the class 6 setting is Fallen Units are lost forever. Every decision count. So, the fact that I brought up Casual earlier, totally forgot that was a setting in this game. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to stick with the classic setting. So, let's do this, shall we? Sure. Huh? 
you recall the Red Canyon? You'll die! Oh. Die! Die! You took everything that I loved! He's gone now, Mother. you here? I wonder how you got in here. It is most rude to interrupt a moment of repose. Very rude indeed. Now come to me. I wish to have a look at you. All right, so like a form. Now, before I select a form here, um, I should have said this a few minutes, a uh, second ago, rather. Um, just like in my Dynasty Warriors 8 playthrough, I'm not gonna talk over the important dialogue slash cutscenes. Let me make that clear. But I'll do voiceovers on non-voiceover dialogue. Just like I did in Dynasty War. So, anyways, let's go to Trees of Form. I think in this playthrough, I'm gonna choose gender female because I can. Yes, indeed. Hmm, I have not seen the likes of you before. Who are you, anyway? I'm a mortal. I see. Then you must have a name of sorts. Go on. Right. So this is a game that you get to enter your own name, apparently. <laughs> As you can tell. So... I'm gonna make it literal. Bingo. Done. Is Cookie correct? Yes. Huh. I shall not ever grow accustomed to the sound of human names. You must possess a day of birth as well. Beneath which moon and on what day were you born to this world? Hmm. Born in the Lone Moon. Well, wonders never cease. It seems we share our day of birth. How strange. Hmm. It all feels so familiar. I think it may be time for yet another nap. <gasps> it is almost time to. Mm. Hey, time to wake up. Were you having that dream again? I was dreaming about a young girl. You've described her to me before. I don't think I've ever met anyone like that. In any case, just put that out of your mind for now. 
battlefield is no place for idle thoughts. Risking your life is part of the job for mercenaries like us. Letting your mind wander is a sure way to get yourself killed. Okay, time to get moving. Our next job is in the kingdom. I told you before, it's far from here, so we'll need to leave at dawn. Of course. Hmm? Oh, good grief. Everyone is already waiting for us outside. Gerald, sir, sorry to barge in, but your presence is needed. What's happened? Please forgive our intrusion. We wouldn't bother you with the situation not dying. What do a bunch of kids like you want at this hour? We're being pursued by a group of bandits. I can only hope that you will be so kind as to lend your support. Bandits? Here? It's true. They attacked us while we were at rest in our camp. We've been separated from our companions and we're outnumbered. They're after our lives, not to mention our gold. I'm impressed you're staying so calm considering the situation. I... Wait, that uniform... Bandit spotted just outside the village. Damn, there were a lot of them. I guess they followed you all the way here. We can't abandon this village now. Come on, let's move. Hope you're ready. Skirmish at dawn. Prologue. Inevitable encounter. Let's take care of those thieves before they overrun the village. Take down the enemies in front first. That should take the wind out of their sails. Movement. Select a unit and then move next to the enemy. While your unit is next to an enemy, the command window will open. To attack, select the attack command and choose a weapon. Stay focused. I need a sword. And strike. <laughs> weapon durability. A weapon will break when repeated use beams. Its durability to zero. You can fight with a broken weapon, but your might and your hit rate will be reduced, and enemies will make follow-up attacks more easily. Be careful with your weapons, you cannot repair them mid-battle. Right, let's go ahead and move the other three, which under my command. I will prevail! Mm. Not an option. Battle menu. Use the battle menu to create bookmark saves, use tutorial guides, and more. To access this, press the A button when the cursor is on a space without an active unit. Battle phases. Once all of your units take in action, the player phase ends and the enemy phase begins. You can end the phase early by selecting end from the battle menu. Okay, let's go move the other two forward. Oh, hold on a second. Sure, let's talk. Thank you. We are in your debt. It wouldn't do for us to fall in a place like this. Please, lend us your strength. Let's work together to drive out these thieves. Of course. Combat. Bows. Bows can attack from long range, although their hit rate is reduced as range increases. They are highly effective against flyers like Pegasus Knights and Wyvern Riders. Ready and willing. Alright, let's go talk to the archer dude right here. 
It's because of you guys that I'm not dead right now. Thanks for that. I didn't expect to run into mercenaries like you in some remote village. The gods of fortune must be smiling on me. Sure. <laughs> we'll advance while protecting ourselves from the enemy. Take up position inside the forest. Terrain effects. Certain terrain will have effects on the unit occupying it. Forces, for instance, raise the unit's evasion and defense. Move your unit to advantage terrain and prepare to meet the enemy. Okay. How about we send you over here then? Ooh. You're gonna get hit by all three of these guys actually. Defensive terrain for all except flyers. It's 30% and 1. Okay. Good enough. Let's position you there. Yes, good. If we're in the forest, we can sustain their attacks without losing the advantage. Terrain types. Forces are not the only terrain type you will encounter. Keep an eye out for others, such as biggest and heal tiles. You can see the effect terrain by placing the cursor over it. Press the X button on an empty space to toggle terrain information and your icons. Okay. We'll look into that later. Oops. It's not the right button. Okay. Uh, yes, let's move forward and talk to this girl. You have a strange aura about you. You say you're a mercenary, so show me what you can do. I sure will. Let's move the other two forward. Opportunity. It's the combat arts I taught you. Combat arts. Combat arts are powerful techniques that use we more weapon durability than usual. They do not typically allow the follow for follow up attacks. Units learn new combat arts when their weapon skills levels go up. There are no combat arts for reason or faith. Those skills grant magic instead. Okay. Let's go ahead and use the first combat art for the game. First things first, though. Um. Hmm. Okay. I know what to do here. Let's have this guy find the kill. Shot. It was a good try. Let's do some damage to this guy so I can set it up. We'll go ahead and do the first combat art. Very nice. Your defeat was inevitable. I must get stronger. So, as you notice there, each time a character level ups, 
they get a random setup. We'll talk more about that as the game goes on. Unless the game gives me a guide about it. So I don't have to. <laughs> Alright. As expected. Can't go wrong with a hundred percent hit rate. Using items. Select the item option to change your equipped weapon or to use items such as Volinary, which restores your unit's hit points. Damn! Why are there mercenaries in the village? Guess we'll have to deal with them too. Item drops. An item icon on an enemy indicates that you will get the item that is highlighted green in the unit's details display when you defeat them. Let's see. He will drop an iron axe. So every time you see an enemy with the highlighted green item, you would want to defeat those enemies just to steal their weapons. <laughs> or rather loot from them, you know what I mean? Anywho, let's move on. Okay, that's good enough. I mean, I don't need to use a heal item. Maybe. a lot from the bandit boss here. What the aren't you Cheryl the Blade Breaker? What's a renowned mercenary like you doing here? I'm the one who should be complaining. I'm caught up in the mess you started. Huh. Nice dodge, Dad. <laughs> Attack when an ally is nearby, and the enemy will be intimidated, making them easier to hit. Link attacks. When you attack an enemy, there's also an attack range of one or more of your other units. You will trigger a link attack. During a link attack, your avoid rate and hit rate are higher than normal. Link attacks between certain units will also raise might. Good use of link attacks is key to defeating powerful enemies. Link attacks will also build support among the units involved. involved. Right. Hmm, I'm not sure I'll be able to kill the other two here. Oh well, what can I do? Well, at least kill one of them. You never had a chance. Be mindful. Hmm. Now let's hit him with the regular attack. Like that. An 
another step forward. Ooh, nice level up myself. And we retrieved the iron axe. Well done. What are you accomplishing with that little stunt? It's like you're trying to get me killed, you fool. <sighs> well, it's fine. After all, if you don't know the value of your own life, you're not going to protect it very well, are you? Of course not. <laughs> well then, I guess it's up to me to guide you from now on, right? You can call me Sothis. But I'm also known as The Beginning. Hmm... Sothis. Yes, that is it. My name is Sothis. And I am also called... The Beginning. But... Who once called me that? Sothis? I was not able to recall my name. Until just now. And just like that it came to me. How odd. That look upon your face. Did you think me a child? A mere child who forgot her own name? Phooey! That child just saved your life. And what does that make you? Uh... I'm less than a child? Correct. You understand. You threw yourself before an axe to save just one young girl. Yet all is well, as I have stalled the flow of time for now. You would have died had I not intervened. Thank you. There now. Is gratitude so much to ask? I did deem you worth saving after all. Though it is only momentary, time has stopped. However did I manage that? So what now? When time begins again, the axe will tear into your flesh and you will surely meet your end. <sighs> How rude of you to drag me into this. Now what to do? <laughs> now, turn back the hands of time. Of course! I must turn back the hands of time! Yes, I do believe it can be done. You really are quite troublesome. I cannot wind back time too far, but all is well. You are aware of what's to come, which means you can protect yourself this time. Now go! Yes, you who bears the flames within. Drift through the flow of time to find the answers that you seek. Did you just... The Knights of Seros are here! We'll cut you down for terrorizing our students! Hey! The thieves are running away! Go after them! The students seem to be unharmed. And... 
Who's this? Ah, uh, why him? All right, stage complete. And look at that. I'm the MVP on this prologue. So five turns to finish. Skirmish show dawn. Nicely done, myself, yet again. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Captain Gerald, it is you. Goodness, it's been ages. Don't you recognize me? It's Alois, your old right-hand man. Well, that's how I always thought of myself anyway. Oh, it must have been 20 years ago that you went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. You haven't changed a bit, Alois, just as loud as ever. And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. These days, I'm just a wandering mercenary. One who has work to do. Uh, goodbye, old friend. Right. Goodbye, Captain. Wait, that isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Garrig Mock Monastery. Uh, I suppose this was inevitable. And how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? <laughs> He's a stranger. To no, <laughs> I'm a bandit. That's script. Is that so? Well, physical differences aside, your mannerisms do remind me of the captain. I'd love for you to see the monastery too. You will join me, won't you? <sighs> What's troubling you, Captain? You aren't about to run off again, are you? Even I wouldn't dare run from the Knights of Saros. Knights of Saros? They do seem rather skilled. Ah, it seems your presence is required. Get going. I appreciate your help back there. Your skill is beyond question. You're clearly an experienced mercenary. And your father, that would be Geralt, the Bladebreaker? Former captain of the Knights of Saros, oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. Have I missed anything? The Knights of Saros? You haven't heard of the Knights of Saros? The most famous order of knights in all of Fodlan. Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? <laughs> of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officers' Academy at Garigmok Monastery. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. That would be because you ran off. Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. Everything would have worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. Because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. <laughs> you will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. Oh, joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. Personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Me? Naive. Tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? In any case, forgive our digression. I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation. It showed me I still have much to learn. Your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. I might as well tell you now. I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire's... Halt, Edelgard. Please allow me to finish my own proposition. 
The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Please, do consider returning to the kingdom with me. Whoa there, you two sure are hasty. Trying to recruit someone you just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. But it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? Hmm. It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well? Hmm. Empire, Kingdom, Alliance. Hmm? Dressed in the Empire, man in ancient history. <laughs> A wise choice. Though the Empire has fallen from its former glory, the other regions are merely offshoots that pale in comparison. All right, that's enough with the small talk. It's time to head back to the monastery. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. My, my, they are in such a hurry. You know, each of the three is most unique. Edelgard. She's a refined young woman. But I feel though she is always elevating me. Dimitri. Seems quite sincere. I sense darkness lurking within beneath. Claude. His easy smile is striking. But that smile doesn't reach his eyes. Yes, I thought the same. Oh, I am so sleepy once again. Oh, I may be sleeping. But... All right, I think that's gonna be it for the first video of this playthrough. We will continue uh, a little later, or well, not later, the day after tomorrow, because, like I said before, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna be recording through this game. And Dying to Warriors, they continue on with that. So the recording routine is going to be switching games routine to record. Same time as usual, I will upload these, get edit them, and they'll premiere at 7 p.m. daily, if possible. <laughs> but other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you look forward to this journey of this new Let's Play that I've been wanting to do for a while. And if you're planning to stick around, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until then, take care. And I will see you in the upcoming episode. Or in Dynasty Wars Day. One of the two. <laughs> anyway, GG. See you later.